it wasn't super, super noticeable. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little first impressions on a supplement called CE123, and it is a analog of modafinil, and analog meaning it is chemically similar to modafinil. Now, it seems like they were somewhat interested in it, but it ended up not being, you know, going to become like a prescription, things like that. You kind of know when they label it something like CE123, or like FL adrafinil, FL modafinil, or like stuff like that, or it's been patented. I don't wanna guarantee say that it's safe, but usually it's a little bit safer once they've labeled it something like CE123. When you look at the chemical structure of CE123, it is pretty different from modafinil. Like it's somewhat similar, but just seeing how easily a, uh, a chemical can change from just a few alterations, it seems very, very, very different than modafinil in my opinion. Um, there was this site called SARMS99 or like 99 SARMS that at one point was selling it at 75 milligrams per pill and on that website you have pretty much the most information that i've ever found on ce123 i'll try to um, put it somewhere in the video if not in the description maybe you know up here so basically when when the research or like the studies that have been done on ce123 they compared it to our modafinil which is kind of like the gold standard now again i've never tried modafinil or our modafinil but i have tried you know for chloromodafinil for fluoromodafinil so i have tried a few things like that and i will agree with this they say that there's a little bit of impulsivity on modafinil or our modafinil and i gotta say it's there like it's not going to be a as high as something like Adderall, but I can get very distracted on modafinil, like um, researching something dumb or like playing a video game. I can be a little bit impulsive with it. Um, and so they say the CE123, that doesn't make you impulsive, but it also had like a nootropics profile, like it helped memory and like a bunch of other stuff. All the typical markers were there. I would assume uh, modafinil had those same similar markers, but modafinil was um, a little bit more impulsive. And then the last thing that I really remember about this research is that one hour after you took it, they found 50 times more CE123 in your brain than our modafinil. It crosses the blood brain barrier very, very easy, very, very bioavailable, much more bioavailable than modafinil. I took this three days, and to be honest, I think what clouded my experience with this is that I didn't really take a break between this and the four chloromodafinil and things like that. So the very first time I took it, again, on the SARMS 99, they labeled it about 75 milligrams per pill. So I was kind of using that as a little bit of a baseline. So I took it the day after for chloromodafinil and I took 90 milligrams of the CE123. And it's like, I didn't feel it, but I felt it. Like I felt a little bit more awake, but definitely nowhere near the punch of modafinil, kind of not understanding it. The next day after that, I took another 90, you know, kind of the same thing. I felt like I feel something. I don't know. I can't really, you know, tell. So then the third day I took 180 milligrams and I definitely noticed it the most at that point. Um, I do think that, and again, be very, very careful with this. Do your own research with this. There has been very, very little studies with this. So just be very careful. Although it does feel more safe than modafinil, much more safe to me. Just be careful, you know what I mean? Don't do anything crazy with this. It hasn't been studied too much. My dose for this one would probably be like 150 milligrams because I definitely needed more than the 90, but 180 did feel pretty high. And it has a very subtle energizing feel. So when I did take the 180, I felt like you're taking like a lot of it. It has like a little low down stimulant effect. So if you're taking it to feel the stimulant effect, you're probably gonna be taking tons of it. And then you gotta think too, this versus modafinil, this uh, gets in your brain 50 times more easy than modafinil. So, you know, this is all over your brain. It's just not making you like, super awake so i don't know about taking more and more and more it's like it's already flooding through your brain you know it's like i don't know just kind of something to think about um i definitely need to do some more testing on it on the sarms 99 website i think there was somebody in the comments saying that i don't feel anything you know which 75 milligrams probably not um i ended up getting this from alconchem.com uh, but he also has an ebay link i've been buying most of them off ebay um, but you could also buy them off alconchem.com yeah this one unfortunately is also more expensive 
expensive than 4-fluoromodafinil and 4-chloromodafinil. I just did a review and personally I find the 4-chloromodafinil to be the strongest and most potent. Just be careful with it if you end up buying it. So yeah, it's unfortunate that it's much lighter and then at the same time it costs a little bit more money. But again, I kind of think I clouded my judgment a little bit with this one because I didn't really dose it correctly those first two days and then I also came right off 4-chloromodafinil which is going to kind of zap me. I should probably take a break from Adderall, Modafinil if I take either one of those, I should probably take a full day off, at least for me, just to kind of give things like a recharge. And then the last thing I want to say is that I kind of, even at the 180 milligrams, like it wasn't super, super noticeable. But again, I did chain them days in a row. And the more I chain stimulants together, the less that they work. Um, but I did notice at the day after, and I kind of sound crazy when I'm, I'm saying all this back right now because I'm just chaining these stimulants every single day, but I didn't feel the CE one, two, three that much. So it's like, I didn't really feel like I was taking something. So I did four chloromodafinil, then I did CE123 90 milligrams, CE123 90 milligrams again, then I did CE123 180 milligrams, and then the next day I did my usual dose of Adderall that I do once a week, 7.5 milligrams to 10 milligrams Adderall. That's been my perfect sweet spot too get a real big jolt and push without too many side effects, you know what I mean? And I will say that I, the effect that I got off the Adderall was very, very, very low. So it kind of led me to believe, hey, the CE123, like it might be acting on similar receptors. It might actually be pretty potent. I just need to kind of give it a break recharge and then 100% try it on its own, maybe try 120 to 150 milligrams in that range. So I do want to say that it had to have been doing something if it just made the Adderall not like kick as much as it normally does, you know, because pretty much for me, Adderall is the one thing it just kind of clears the highway. It gives me tons of energy, makes me feel great. And I just, you know, and that's why I love taking it once a week. It's a perfect little mix up to the day. You know what I mean? Anyway, C123, it's pretty interesting. Um, definitely if you like modafinil or kind of curious about it, check it out. Um, if you're interested to see kind of like a modafinil but a little bit lighter side effects, I'll be very interested to see as well. I didn't see too much of like the memory enhancing nootropic benefits, but I feel like they're there. They're just a little bit more subtle and I need to kind of give it, you know, obviously I've been saying this a bunch, but give it a few days off before I try it again. So anyways, guys, kind of want to give my first impression of CE123 pretty interesting so far and there's definitely i'm actually curious to see where it's going to take me anyways guys we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys hope you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace